Okay, let's uh, make yet another pizza and talk about another question that I've seen. Okay, let's see. Let's see. We'll take this one. Flower there. Okay. Okay. Let me get started. This one we're gonna make something classically American, which is Italian sausage and pepperoni. I don't know if they've ever done anything similar to that in in, uh, in Italy, but uh, if you're American, you probably had that several times. American, Australian, or if you are in Canada, New Zealand, I don't know about England. Do you guys in England eat pepperoni and sausage on the same pizza? I don't know, let me know. I'm not sure. Okay, that looks nice. Okay, we have some flour left over there, so we'll just... Okay. And we'll stretch that out later. Okay, about this point, it's time to chip the fire. Put, uh, piece of firewood there to get going. A nice beautiful flame. So far we've been turning out lots of quick pies cooking quickly so let me just do that one more time. Okay. Okay. This pie we're gonna make Italian sausage and pepperoni. Mia do you like Italian sausage and pepperoni? Yeah. Yeah? But what's your favorite pizza, Mia? Margarita pizza. Margarita pizza. Is that the pizza you're going to make? Yeah. Okay. Uh, remind you to stay tuned. Uh, either in this video or in the next video, Mia's going to be making a margarita pizza. It's quite a nice day here in Japan. I'm pretty sure we're all having roughly the same weather in Japan. Japan's just a small island. <laughs> well, it's a set of islands. Set of uh, how many? How many main islands are there, Anna? Five, five main islands. Four, five. Four. Four. So there's there's Hokkaido, Honshu, uh, no, Shikoku. Five. Five. Oh, okay, five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, counting Okinawa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Add in some Italian sausage. Yeah, so when the weather is uh, warm in one place, it's usually warm everywhere. So, pepperoni, Italian sausage. Okay, yeah, another uh, question uh, that uh, I saw frequently asked was, uh, what was that? Huh, I'm already forgetting. Oh, yeah. Um, how long do you leave the the dough in balls, and how long does it stay in bulk? Well, there are a few answers to that, and that depends on on how confident you are in working with very, very soft doughs, and uh, in warm temperatures, and uh, all kinds of factors. So, in Italy, what they do is uh, they'll do a, a bulk mix of like you know, probably about, uh, I'd say, more than 10 kilograms of dough at the same time, wouldn't they? No, they're, they're doing more. they got a 25 kilo bag, so they're probably doing something close to uh, 30, 35, about nearly 40 kilos all at once. Now, what they do... What they do is just uh, immediately ball it. They probably leave it to sit for about 20 minutes or 30 minutes or maybe an hour. And then they, they ball it right away and they leave it for roughly 24 hours or more overnight. And uh, the next day's uh, business is when they, when they will use that. I apologize, there was a technical difficulty with the camera. We've got things running right now, and uh, this is uh, the pizza I was working on. It is uh, almost ready to come out. And uh, how's that? 
that is uh, done. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Okay. So this is uh, yet another pizza. And uh, see for now, I think I was if I was talking about uh, what I was talking about before was was dough. What, what they do in Italy is they'll they'll put it all into balls right away, or within an hour after mixing it and they'll just leave it for 24 hours and then just use it like that. But it's very, very soft and very, very difficult to, to deal with. Uh, what I recommend is you bulk ferment for at least 24 hours by, its, you know, by itself. And then, then ball it and use it between six to 12 hours after that, after it's been balled. Uh, when it's, when it's, when it's around six hours after being balled, uh, it's reasonably very, well, it's very easy to work with. If it's eight hours, it's even better. It's a, a little bit more stretch, easy to stretch. It doesn't fall back on itself. If you start to get closer to 12, even 24 hours, uh, it's extremely soft and very delicate. Very, very delicate. So if you, if you feel experienced, you're experienced enough to do that, by all means. Uh, if not, I, I recommend to uh, start with six hours and uh, get good at that. And then start to extend it to eight hours and then 10 hours. And then get good at dealing with the dough that's getting progressively more and more delicate. Uh, this is fairly delicate. This was, uh, but it's not too bad. This is uh, eight hours in, eight hours uh, in balls. Uh, and it was uh, roughly 40 hours. A little over 40 hours in bulk. So uh, that's it for this video. Um, in the next video, we'll watch uh, my daughter make margarita pizza. Thanks for watching.